I'm Mike Vrabel, and this is my draft story. You know, draft day was long. It was a little different uh, 20 some years ago. Uh, there were two days, it was a Saturday and Sunday. I think they did the first three rounds on, on Saturday and they, they finished the last four rounds on Sunday. And I got a call from, from a team, uh, believe it or not, at the end of the first round asking me about a tackle that I'd played against. Uh, I'd played against two tackles and they had asked my opinion, but sat around uh, till, till the end of uh, Saturday night. And there was a few picks left in the third round and Bill Cowher called and uh, was excited uh, to be able to join that organization, being close to, to where I grew up, and the tradition that was there, and, and needed to uh, you know, try to do everything I could to make that football team. You know, it's just one small piece of the puzzle. It would be probably the, the smallest um, experience that I had after 14 years in the NFL. And I don't want people to think that the draft is uh, the the, um, the end of their career. I think that the career begins uh, once they get drafted. You know, life and your your professional life will begin after you get drafted. It won't it won't end when you get drafted. For any young player, I think that it's critical that they come in one, they they learn and they study. You, know, you never want to get your opportunity on the field and be next to a veteran player uh, and not know what to do. Uh, number two is to play hard practice hard, play with great effort, and that's the easiest way to, to build the respect and earn the respect of the, the, the veterans, because that's really all you're trying to do. You're not trying to impress the coaches. Uh, you're trying to impress the veterans on this team to make sure that you belong.